Hey Capricorn, welcome to your reading for the second half of August. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe to my lovely loyal subscribers. Thank you for being here with me. I'll leave information about what decks of cards I'm using in the description box along with how to contact me for personal readings. So go ahead and check out the description box there and let's see what's going on with Capricorns. Okay, material harvest. It was reversed. I checked the deck. Um, and it is reversed. So you may feel like you're still waiting on your financial blessings to ar arrive here. Um, this is the nine of pentacles in the normal deck. So you may have been single a long time as well. <clears throat> and it's showing there are some delays in your financial rewards coming your way. You could be questioning why. The whole world has had delays, right? Um, but it's showing spend wisely as well because usually with the nine of pentacles we're buying new clothes and we're buying new things so we could end up um, maybe short for the month right or the end of the month your money could become short at the end of the month so just spend a little bit wisely don't go crazy just because the shops are reopening and things um, some of you might be overspending on clothes you know, that retail therapy, some of you could be doing that. You might be expecting some money coming in and it doesn't come. So, yeah, just wait until you've got the money. It doesn't mean it's not coming. It means there's delays with that reversed wisdom. Okay, yeah, <laughs> once bitten, twice shy. You won't do it again, that's for sure. Um, this is the Hierophant and it's saying, you know, you've learned a lot through, what, 2019 and 2020 here. So use what you've learned here. Um, maybe not to overspend, maybe not to overexert yourself to people who, you know, maybe are asking for help and ask, you know, saying, well, I've got nothing and things like that. But then really, you know, they're draining you, right? So somebody could even be trying to drain your finances. It may be somebody within your home also. Um, but we're not supposed to do that, right? This is what we've been learning. This is the wisdom you've been gaining, don't be draining yourself to fill another because it won't help either of you in the long run, right? So it's okay to say no to people if they're, you know, keep asking for money here or something like that. Um, or your time, your effort, you know, look, because she's holding a brush here. It's like, you know, sometimes we have to learn to walk away for the best of all of us, right? If we keep bailing somebody out of uh, trouble then they never learn to bail themselves out of trouble teach a man to fish and you know he'll have fish for the rest of his life sort of thing so let's see power yeah okay so this is the strength card of course here um, like I said, we've all got to learn to get to that stage haven't we to pick ourselves up and your power comes from taking care of you you work hard, so you should reap the rewards, right? You shouldn't be going and giving away everything you've got. And even if it is like a divine power there with the Hierophant and somebody's asking you for freebies, look, I'm down on my luck. We have an exchange of energy. Um, that is currency, is money, right? You need food on your tables too, right? You need to pay your bills too. It, you know, a lot of people will say, like, why do you... I remember when I first started and I didn't want to um, charge for it. But as time went on, I give a lot of my energy and power away in these readings. And to do it for free, it doesn't serve anybody. It doesn't help the people either. Because when they are not exchanging their form of energy or currency, they don't end up listening to the advice. The minute I started charging for readings, for example... Um, People listen to their advice, their life improves. Once we have this exchange rate going on, it's better for everybody. And that's what I'm feeling here. Don't give your power away, basically, here. And even if it is like somebody in your household, children, parents, things like that, um, it reminds me of um, the story of Sleeping Beauty and I've seen a different perspective on it. Um, you know, Sleeping Beauty is basically 
the parents kept her protected and asleep her whole life and then the minute she was out the door she fell for the first trick and bit the apple fell asleep sort of thing um so that's what it is you know we're walking around in a world full of sleeping people or protected or sheltered people trying to shelter people or your children uh from her doesn't help them in the long run the power is gained through experiences we face in life right if we go through the struggle the struggle is what makes us what gives us this power so yeah it's okay to say no to people and let them learn to fish for themselves <laughs> Okay, that was deep and long, so I guess somebody needed to hear it. Seven of Swords, yeah, this could be fooling yourself. It can be people lying to you. They could be saying, look, I'm struggling, I'm in need, help me. And they could be lying and deceiving you. Or they could even be saying, look, I'm single and I'm not. There's a lot of sort of deception that could go on in the world, as well as self-deception. You may feel like, well, I'm doing this for the greater good of everybody. Draining yourself is not for the greater good of everybody. You will no longer be able to help them again if you are drained yourself, right? So there is some deception here. Justice, okay, so again, we see like, we reap what we sow, right? So if you are sowing the seeds of good intentions, you'll get back good intentions. Can you pay the bills with good intentions? I know it's a bit harsh to look at it like that, but I feel like somebody needs telling. It seems like they're giving away their power or they're giving away their money and, um, you know, being treated unfairly and lied to. At some point in life, we have to be accountable. We are allowing somebody to do that to us. People only do what we allow them to do. So if they keep stabbing us in the back, at some point we have to cut it off and say, um, no more lying. Because, you know, generally our intuition will tell us somebody's lying to us and it'll kick in and we can say, look, I don't accept your lies and I'm not going to give you another chance. Knight of Wands here. So somebody is coming, rushing towards you here. Um, I would just say, look, if you sense that they're lying to you or you feel like you're lying to yourself, that it could work with this person, just be honest with yourself. It'll be half the lesson in the long run, right? But I see somebody here in the Knight of Wands energy, so they could of course be cheating on you and this is why you ended up single here um it could be a karmic relationship and this person ke will keep on trying to drain your power um <laughs> this is very very interesting reading seven of cups so it could be multiple people um trying to drain your power and you have to like i say be accountable and have the strength to, to say no and cut them off at times okay um we just had taurus with 777 and that angel message was basically expect a miracle and expect love in your life um but you will face challenges you have to weed out you know the weeds from the roses right um I guess um, you could be confused on um, where your blessings are, seeing as that nine of pentacles was reversed. And you could be saying, why aren't I getting my blessings? Whether that's in the form of a romantic relationship, whether that's having children, whether that's, you know, having good relationships and good people in my life. Where are they? I'm just facing these challenges and I'm confused because I'm putting out good intentions. Well, you've got to stand your ground and accept fairness for yourself as well. We've got to be fair to ourselves as well. We've got to be accountable for our actions, right? We don't need to accept somebody just because they're making us an offer. We don't need to help them just because um, they're asking. We need to really delve in and say, you know, have you tried to help yourself first? It doesn't make you a bad person. You know, the wisdom that you've gained, you have to put into action here. That's the Knight of Wands. Take immediate action. If, you, if you're faced with these challenges, uh, you know, do something about it now. Don't wait until there's more confusion and more people asking and trying to drain you. 
the sun, yeah, you'll get a positive outcome. So if you're scared that, look, I get keep cutting people out of my life. If I keep on cutting people out of my life, I'll be left with nobody. Um, you will have this positive outcome. You will have um, what you desire, this healing and clarity. When we face these challenges, you'll have the clarity to see people's true colours here with the sun. Okay, you'll this lie will be exposed. These people will be exposed to you. And like I said, um, people only do what we allow. So once you've seen the truth, are you going to keep allowing it? Just maybe because you don't want to be single or on your own? The people you remove from your life will be replaced with um, better people, right? Um, new people, people who love you for you, who want to be with you. Nine of Swords, okay? So this is a lot of worry and anxiety, maybe sleepless nights that are being affecting you um, because of people. They could be telling lies about you and you could be trying to say, look, I'm not like that or, you know, this person is cheating on me and it's making me worry and things like that. It's holding you up basically here. Somebody's holding you up and holding your blessings coming towards you. Um what I would suggest is uh, this is worrying about this is worrying about worry you know let me tell you something there's always going to be something to worry about right you know there's always going to be that next challenge that next hurdle so worrying serves no purpose you're worrying about things that haven't even happened yet okay what about in the future if this happens you don't need to worry about that there's a time and a place for everything live in the present Live in the now. The nine is related to the hermit, so it is like to do with yourself. You're trapping yourself here, overthinking. So once you, this has been revealed to you, it may have already been revealed to you that this there's some deception going on, then why worry about it? You know? Don't worry about it. I know as well if it could be your children or family, um, it could keep you up at night worrying. But don't worry about it. You know, what will be, will be. And everything happens for a reason here. If you're worried about money, expect a miracle. Um, there's been delays, but overall the sun is telling you, you will be blessed here. The tower, yeah, you will avoid this tower, okay? Um, so if you're thinking, oh, well, at the end of the month, I'm not going to be able to meet um, my own bills now because I've been helping somebody else. Uh, you'll avoid this tower, but please bear in mind at the end of the month when you start to worry or whatever this is, worrying about being single or, you know, that you, the things that you've learned, put into practice, stand up for yourself, People are expecting you to curl into this ball, but stand up for yourself because next time the tower will happen, it'll come down. If you was with somebody who was lying to you or you feel like somebody's lying to you, um, has another option, is acting like this nine of wands, cheating on you uh, with this nine of pentacles reversed, maybe you're just accepting their lies so that you don't want, because you don't want to be single. Well, it shows that you'll end up worrying yourself and end up single anyway um, by avoiding the truth of the situation whether it's to do with money or romance or somebody cheating on you um, it's just pro prolonging your own agony rather than facing it right for somebody else and that doesn't benefit you and here blessings want to come to you with the justice card and the sun but you're prolonging this change whatever it is it won't stop the change, but it's prolonging it here. The hanged man, yeah. You really need to look at these situations differently because um, by prolonging it doesn't mean it won't happen, right? You gain your power from your individual and unique strength 
your unique wisdom by standing on your own and looking at this from a different perspective okay if it doesn't happen today will it happen tomorrow but I'm going to still keep worrying about it you know so you're going to worry 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 until it eventually happens and then you could have sorted it out straight away. So you could have took action straight away. Um, the Knight of Wands, like I said, is suggesting to take action straight away. If you are a Capricorn seeing multiple people and you're worried you're going to get caught, okay, by telling lies to avert a tower moment, it'll happen anyway. You're going to go through this... Um, awakening here, this hanged man experience, in order to look at things from a different perspective. The magician. Okay, so then things will happen for you then, okay? Then you can manifest these things into your life once you've looked at this differently. Trying to be everything for everybody else and nothing for yourself, you know, it's not cool. Look after yourself too, right? Don't forget about yourself while looking after everybody else. Okay, because these things want to come in for you here. It's like you're, it's like the divine here, the Hierophant, is trying to give you your blessings, but you seem to be giving your blessing away. Nine of Wands, yeah, protect yourself here. Protect yourself, okay, because this is a fence of protection, the Nine of Wands. And you'll keep experiencing the same thing over and over and over until you stop doing it. That's the nine of wands. It doesn't mean it's over. It's only over once you stop doing it, okay? It's like you've got 99 problems, but receiving a blessing ain't one. <laughs> this blessing's trying to come to you. Good luck, guys.